The avalanche forecast is the essential starting point for planning your day in the backcountry. Avalanche conditions are dynamic, so it is important to read the forecast every time you head out. And following along with the forecast on a daily basis will help build a better understanding of how conditions are evolving. We publish a new forecast every morning around 7 a.m., one for each forecast zone. The forecast provides a general overview of avalanche conditions, along with travel advice on how to effectively reduce your risk of getting harmed by an avalanche. The avalanche forecast provides essential information in a tiered format, starting with the simplest information first. The forecast gives a bottom line, danger ratings, problem list, and discussion. Regardless of your avalanche education, we recommend that all users read through the entire forecast to gain the best understanding of the conditions. The product starts with the bottom line, which highlights the most important takeaways for the day's conditions. We then provide a danger rating for each of three elevation bands, above, near, and below tree line. The danger rating uses a five level danger scale based on travel advice, size, and likelihood of avalanches. It's important to understand that the type of terrain that is appropriate on a given day can vary widely, even for the same danger rating. Thus, the latter half of the forecast is just as important. In the next section of the forecast, we describe the most common avalanche problems for the day. Avalanches come in a variety of flavors, each with distinct management tactics. In the forecast, we describe the characteristics and travel advice for the most dangerous problems of the day. This section includes infographics detailing the avalanche character, its spatial distribution, the likelihood of human triggering, and its expected size. The text further describes the characteristics, cause, timing, location, and management strategies for the problem. The accompanying photo shows a recent or relevant image to show what the avalanche problem or signs of instability might look like in the backcountry. Avalanche characteristics fall on a continuum, but for the purpose of simplifying travel advice, we define them into one of nine avalanche types, such as wind slabs, persistent slabs, or loose wet avalanches. Each avalanche type has different travel advice, signs of instability, and terrain management strategies. The shaded regions on the distribution rows highlight the aspects and elevations where you are most likely, but not exclusively, going to encounter the problem. You can visualize the rows as a three-dimensional cone-shaped mountain divided into eight aspects and three elevation bands. The likelihood slider highlights the chance of an avalanche releasing within the specified distribution and time period. Likelihood is defined by the sensitivity to triggers and how commonly the problem is found throughout the terrain. Terms such as possible and likely are used to define the scale. The chance of triggered or natural avalanches increases as you move up the scale. For our purposes, unlikely means that few avalanches can be triggered in avalanche terrain and natural avalanches are not expected. Almost certain means that human and natural avalanche activity will be widespread. The size slider shows the expected destructive potential of avalanches that day. We show the expected range of sizes to include the largest potential avalanche for the problem in question. Outliers are possible. The destructive size is influenced by terrain features. Longer, steeper paths are capable of producing larger avalanches under the same avalanche characteristics found on smaller slopes. The forecast discussion provides further insight. In the discussion, the forecaster often describes evidence, observations, or recent avalanche activity to supplement the product. The discussion is also used to elaborate on travel advice, trends, uncertainties, and more. If you follow along with the forecast discussions throughout the season, you will have a deeper understanding of the snowpack history and subtleties of the avalanche conditions. Our forecast product also includes a detailed mountain weather forecast. In the weather forecast tab, we summarize recent and forecasted temperatures, winds, snowfall, and cloud cover. The narrative provides further insight. We use this weather forecast to produce our avalanche forecasts. That's an important point because if the weather diverges from its forecast, it often means that the avalanche forecast also diverges. For example, if the forecaster calls for four to six inches of snow and moderate danger, 
you can expect the danger to be higher if you find 12 inches of new snow. Our website houses a number of additional resources to help inform your decision making. Our observation page shares both public and forecaster observations from the field. We have a weather stations map where you can track current or past weather variables. We also have an avalanche table and rows where you can view recent and seasonal avalanche activity. All of these tools are in place to help inform you about current avalanche hazards. You are ultimately in control of your level of risk based on the terrain that you choose for a given day.